Hi friends, welcome home. I hope you're blessed and doing well because I'm doing great. Today I'm going to show you how I preserve my harvest. We're going to harvest and preserve broccoli today. On a previous video you all watched my husband and I harvest our broccoli and today I'm going to show you an easy way to put it up for long-term storage. We're going to freeze it and we're going to pickle it. Broccoli is pretty simple to preserve but it can be kind of tricky if you try to do it other ways because it can easily easily become very mushy. So we want our broccoli to stay nice and fresh and crisp. So I wanted to tell you all about my little rickety basket here <laughs> and why I like carrying it. So this basket happened to be from my grandmother and um, it is so old. It has a wooden handle and it was a wicker style basket. It's still in decent shape, but it's starting to wear along the edges. And I really wish I knew how to fix this basket because it is so pretty it's the, the shape of it is absolutely phenomenal and baskets like this at this size are really really expensive so this basket happens to be an antique <laughs> um, because I don't know how long she had it okay but when I got it it was in this, this condition here and um, I used it um, I actually was able to um, get this basket right after my grandmother passed away. So it is really, really sentimental to me. I know it's not a really fancy, smancy basket. And yes, I can go get a basket anytime, but this one happens to be very special to me. So especially it being a gardening basket, a harvest basket. So just wanted to tell you my harvest basket story because I don't think I ever have. <laughs> and um, you're maybe wondering why I'm carrying that little antique basket, but that is why. So sometimes when you're gardening, things in your garden are really, really special to you and sentimental to you. And um, it just helps you garden even better because a section of our garden out there um, is dedicated to both my husband and my grandmother. Um, and so we have two sections out in the garden dedicated to the great grandparents, which would be our children's great grandparents that are no longer with us. All right, so here is, um, I still have to cut this one, but here's all of the broccoli florets. They are gorgeous, look at that. And I did not find not one bug on this broccoli, not one. Didn't find not one bug. So they were super, super clean and ready to go. And I'm going to go ahead and steam the vegetables just for a few minutes, about five minutes in my steam basket right here. All right, guys, so I actually turned the eye off and I'm just letting it steam and it's just steaming. And as you can see, it's really bright green. This is what you want to see when it turns this really bright green color. Um, and yes, my hands are clean. Um, this is where we're going to stop. 
give it an ice bath and we're going to slow um, stop the cooking process because it's still you know steamy hot and I did add ice to this water okay to stop the cooking process and yes I can just take it straight from my steamer over to the bowl but I almost skipped a step y'all I almost put it on the pan and put it in the freezer and I'm like no I didn't I didn't cool it down I didn't stop the the cooking so let's sit let it sit in here let's let it sit in here for a few minutes stop the cooking process in this ice bath and then we'll transfer it back over to a parchment paper freeze it individually and then we'll seal it up all right friends so we are ready to transfer our broccoli it's cooled down in the ice bath and we're going to put place it on our parchment paper and we're going to make sure we drain the water off and we're going to separate them on the parchment paper and then we'll sit it in the freezer once it's frozen we're going to come and seal our broccoli for preservation this is it will definitely last six to, um, months to a year when done in this method here all right guys so here is the broccoli it's frozen and frozen in individual pieces so this is on the parchment paper and you just freeze it individually as much as possible some of them may touch a little bit but i'm just gonna you know break them apart but as you can see it is frozen okay so now all we have to do is either bag up our broccoli and label it or we can seal it we can vacuum seal it so i have a seal of meal machine right here and these are the vacuum seal bags that come like this and we're going to put some of our broccoli in here and I want to make sure they're broken up Okay guys, so on to the next way you can preserve your broccoli harvest. We're gonna do some Korean style pickles and I'm gonna add cauliflower in it because I love adding cauliflower in mine. And what you're gonna need is a half a cup of apple cider vinegar, a fourth a cup of cane sugar, and a fourth a cup of sea salt, and also five cups of water, okay? And so I'm gonna be using my basic regular cannon jars for this recipe all right and then you're going to need just in like a, a um, peeler because what i'm going to do is just peel the skins of my broccoli stems and we're going to pickle those as well all right so we're going to go ahead and get our water heated and we're going to add the apple cider vinegar the sugar and the salt and we're just going to bring it to a boil All right, now while this um, is coming to a boil, I'm going to go ahead and take my little peeler here and I'm just gonna peel the skins of the broccoli just like so, just to you know clean it up and everything and get it nice and pretty. And then I'm gonna go ahead and slice off my florets from my stem. And I'm gonna cut my stem into nice um, long pieces. Okay, so I'm just I just popped them down into the brine and now I'm just going to blanch them for a few minutes in the brine here and I'm going to take them out. So we're not going to cook them. We're just letting them get just green, just tender for a few minutes taking them out so they stay nice and crispy and crunchy. 
Okay, so let's give them just a few minutes and then we'll take them out. All right, so I am back from the garden and we're gonna go ahead and get started with, oh gosh, with the jars. Okay, so our broccoli and cauliflower are ready to be stuffed into the jars. And this is from them being cold, chilled. I think that is maxed out. All right, so I have my jar. It's all packed in. And now all I have to do is just get the brine, the cooled brine, and pour it in. You know what? I'm gonna use my funnel because I don't want to spill this. And um, I'm just showing you this one. This was for, um, I'm gonna definitely have to increase the brine recipe. This is just for like two jars. And I'm gonna make sure that I put it right above the veggies and leave in that half inch head space right there. I almost forgot to add my garlic cloves, so I just peeled um, some garlic and I'm going to put two garlic cloves per jar. And what I'm going to do is just push them on down in here. Now, I love garlic, so I usually would have put a lot more, but since I didn't get to do that. I'm just gonna put these cloves down in there and make sure they're submerged down in there to give it some more flavor. Just gonna push it down in there. Just push it down. There we go. And that's gonna release a lot of good flavor into this brine. And I like using vegetables like this in like a pasta salad. What I want to do is wipe off the rims of these jars also because we want to make sure we've cleaned them well. And, you know, even with the, my refrigerated pickles, I'm going to still clean the rim of the jar with um, a little vinegar. So I'm just going to wipe the rim. A little vinegar there. And I'm still not touching the inside, the inside area of the lids there. I'm still picking them up with my magnet and placing them on. Now these are going in the refrigerator. So I'm only gonna do three of these because I don't need any more than this. The other broccoli um, is frozen. So um, the majority of the harvest is frozen okay and I think that is the best way to go but there you go so there you go this is how I do my pickled um, broccoli and cauliflower with um, garlic okay all right so and these will be ready these are ready in a, a few hours the longer you let this marinate the better it gets so I would um, let these marinate for days um, and weeks because this will be good in the refrigerator for months okay all right